Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. My name is Douglas, and in today's video, we're gonna be starting the series on the MPC Studio. Now, if you're brand new to this channel, what I'm gonna be doing is going through the Akai MPC Studio from a beginner's perspective, from someone who's never used an MPC product before, going through and installing the software. I'm gonna walk you through how to get started using this. And ultimately, we're gonna to get to the point where you're gonna be making some beats with this all on your own and hopefully get you there one step at a time through these videos. So if you're brand new, you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future videos. And if you've got any questions around the MPC Studio, if you want some other more specific videos made, throw that in the comments below, I'll do my best to check those out and help you guys out with some videos here. So again, this is gonna be from the perspective of someone who hasn't used MPC products before. And the reason I'm doing this is because number one, I've never used MPC products prior to the MPC Studio. I love this product and I love the concept behind it because I have a ton of virtual instruments and the MPC Studio is just a controller that works with the MPC software on your computer. So I'm gonna have a bunch of videos coming out and so far from playing around with the MPC Studio for a couple of weeks now, I love the interface, I love how it works. It's so quick to get up and running and making beats and I'm gonna show you how to do all of that. So let's jump right in and the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is register your MPC Studio with Akai. So go to akaipro.com slash MPC download and I've got that pulled up here on my computer I'll put a link in the description below as well for this link. And this is where it, everything's going to start. So the first thing you're going to do is create an account with Akai if you don't have one already. If you do, go ahead and log in. I do have one, so I'm going to log in and show you where to get the MPC Studio software. Um, but if you don't, create an account, log in, and register your product. So once you're logged in, go to your account page and go to the register a product. Follow the on-screen prompts, register the controller. You're gonna need the serial number, which is on a sticker on the back of the controller itself. So register your product and that's gonna give you access to the software to download. And as you'll notice, everything's kind of packaged into a single software point called the MPC Studio Software Manager. So what I'm gonna do is start there. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna log into my account and once you're logged into your account, scroll down and you'll see your registered product. If you don't see that, that means you haven't registered the MPC Studio. So go ahead and click register new product, walk through the prompts there. Once you've got it registered, click on the link here, MPC Studio, and that's gonna bring up your information along with the downloads for that product. We're gonna focus on software downloads in this video. Expand the option that says MPC Studio 2 Installer. And what this is actually gonna install is the MPC Studio Software Manager. And from there, you'll then install the MPC Studio 2, as well as the expansion packs that come included with the MPC Studio. So the first thing you're gonna do is pick Mac or PC Installer, whichever one you're running. Once you've done that, go ahead and open that up and install it just like you'd install any other piece of software. Once that's installed, open that up. And this is gonna be the central place where you download any of the included software and expansion packs or sound packs that come with the MPC Studio. So this is loaded up and you can see right here at the top we have apps and then down at the bottom we have MPC sound packs. So you can see that all of my buttons say install except for the sounds of nightlife which has a download button. Yours at first are probably all gonna show download. Go ahead and download all of them and you can pick the location you download them to by going up to the top, clicking the gear icon and then save downloads in. You can click the folder and change the download folder. And what that's gonna do is point the downloads to a specific folder. So once you've downloaded them all and you can do that by clicking the download button, that's gonna go ahead and download those. You're gonna end up with a whole bunch that say install. And what we're gonna focus on in today's video is installing MPC2. This is really the piece of software that's required in order to use the MPC Studio. I'll talk more about it in another video on using the MPC Studio as just a controller without the MPC2 software, but it really needs the MPC2 software to access all of the functions and features within the controller. So go ahead and install MPC2. 
So while we install this, I will mention that you will need to have an iLock account and you'll also need to have the iLock license manager installed on your computer because MPC2 uses iLock to manage the license uh, once you activate the software. We're gonna go ahead and install the plugin versions of this as well. We're just gonna hit next all through here and then we're gonna install this onto our computer. Now the way that MPC uses the installation, and I'll talk more about this in the MPC sound packs, but everything gets installed to your C drive and there's no option to change the directory of the MPC sound packs. Um, but in a future video, I'll talk about how you can use a link within your directory to put the sound packs on an external hard drive or something like that and not take up space on your C drive. But for now, we're gonna install MPC2, the software itself onto our C drive and we're just gonna go from there. So this is gonna go through the installation process. It's gonna install the license support files. It has a message here, a newer version of hybrid content is already installed. So it does come with hybrid, which is a synth engine. And I already have that from the Oxygen Pro lines I've got. If you're curious about those controllers, I've got videos on those, check those out. So we're just gonna hit okay here, meaning we don't have to install a newer version of hybrid, we already have it. And then we're gonna click finish on the MPC setup wizard. So now that this is installed, our button changes to open. And what we're gonna do is first click get activation code. And it directs you to go to the website and copy the activation code for the software. And you can find that by going over to the Akai Pro website where we grab the download for the installer. And you'll see there's a serial number right here. And we're gonna use that when we register our MPC2 software. So we're gonna go ahead and open this software. MPC2 is now launching. And it's gonna show you a message that says new plugin instruments are available. We're gonna say, remind me later, just in case we forget to do that. And because I already installed this and I've been playing around with it, it didn't ask me to sync this with my iLock license account. But when you open yours up for the first time, you're gonna get a message asking you for the activation code, and then it's going to store that and ask you to sign into your iLock account and it's gonna store that to your computer in your iLock license manager. If I open up my iLock license manager and you'll see right here, I have an item for MPC. That is the license for our MPC2 software. So now that we've got the MPC2 software installed, let's go ahead and plug in the MPC studio. Now we're gonna plug the included USB cable into the back of the controller and then into our computer, into the USB port. The controller is going to power on and you'll notice in my case that it's not powering on correctly. So all I'm seeing is the Akai Professional logo here and when it properly powers up you'll see these buttons light up and you'll have options within the menu here. So we're going to go back over to our MPC Studio Software Manager and I've gone ahead and closed the MPC2 software. Let's go ahead and install the driver and the firmware updater for the MPC Studio. We're gonna go ahead and install these. They came out with this update here to help fix external USB issues. So we're gonna install both of those by clicking the install button and running through just the normal software install process. And then we're going to minimize our software manager here and we're gonna to go to our start menu. I'm gonna scroll down to the Akai professional menu and we're gonna click on the Akai Professional MPC Studio MK2 Firmware Updater. If you just got your controller, you're going to see that your current version is lower. In my case, I already updated the firmware on this controller, so I don't need to, but you would click Update Firmware with the controller plugged into your computer, and that would update the firmware on the controller itself. I'm gonna go ahead and exit because my current firmware is the latest 1.41. So now that we've updated the controller's firmware and we've installed the driver for the MPC Studio, we should be able to open up the MPC2 software and see that the software now recognizes the controller and you'll notice the controller instantly switched to its 
on mode or recognized mode by the MPC2 software. You can see here that all of our buttons are lit up, we have options on the screen, and we're good to go to start making beats. But I wanna pause here because this is where I started to get stuck. I had the MPC2 software installed, I had the controller plugged in and working, I was able to hit play and the transport would play, stop, I could move around with the transport using all of the controls here on the controller, but I didn't know how to get any sounds into here. So my question was, is it possible to use the MPC Studio with the MPC2 software without any sound packs itself? And the short answer is yes. And I'll actually show you how to do that real quick in this video, but it's gonna work best with the sound packs or the expansion packs. And I'll talk about installing those in the next video and show you how to navigate those sound packs. But for now, before we wrap up this video, I wanna show you how to just start playing some sounds with the MPC Studio controller and the MPC2 software. So over here under track, we see we're on track one and we've got a row of icons here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the plugin icon. You'll notice my controller straight away changes to different coloring and I've got an update over here on my pads. You can see that they're now assigned and it switched to a different view here in my grid. So now if I play the pads on the controller, and I can change the octaves. So we can go through and we can play plugins and how we modify or choose different plugins is down here underneath the track section, there's a program section. So right now we're basically building our own program using the plugin and the preset defined here. So we can click on the plugin and we can choose various plugins. Right now we'll choose tube synth just by double clicking. And then we could click on the preset list here with the drop down, or there's a little icon above this drop down, and we can actually open up the plugin itself and we can see all of the features of the plugin. We could change our program or our preset. And then we could close this and we could even choose another one here. And these pads do have aftertouch if you were wondering. So that is how you can play sounds right out of the gate without having any sound packs or expansion packs. And you can get started playing stuff right away. Obviously it's not as full featured as you'll see when we install some sound packs, but that's a quick way to get started. Just change the track to plugin, either choose a plugin that comes with the controller or set up in your menu. If you go up to the top left, go to edit and preferences, you can actually choose the location of plugins to search. So I have my plugins folder here. You could define multiple plugin folders and scan those. And it's gonna pull in your existing virtual instruments into here so you can select those and play those with your MPC Studio. So that's gonna be all for today's video. Hopefully that gets you started, gets you set up and installed with MPC2 software, gets the MPC Studio connected and actually getting some sound there with the MPC Studio controller. In the next video, we're gonna talk about installing sound packs. What is a sound pack expansion pack? We're gonna install one and I'm gonna show you how you can use the various components of the sound pack as well as the programs in the sound pack to quickly start to make some beats. And then we're gonna dive into more of the features of the MPC Studio. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of those videos coming out soon. If you've got any questions with anything we've gone through in today's video, throw those in the comments below. Thanks for watching, stay inspired, and keep making that music.